When I was younger, my mother always told me to bundle up before I go outside or I'd get sick. She made sure that I washed my hands before and after each meal. And she was obsessed with keeping my sister and I's room clean. Cleanliness was her obsession because you could get sick from living in a dirty environment. She cared so much about our physical health that she forgot about teaching us to prevent mental illness. At age eight, I realized how serious mental illness was. On October 14, 2007, my mom heard a knock at the door in the middle of the night. She received the awful news that my Uncle John had committed suicide. He had been suffering from mental illness for years. From my perspective, however, he was the happiest uncle ever. We went on spontaneous road trips to the south. We often went to the park or swimming at the lake and even sometimes just joking around at home. At this time, I realized that physical illnesses weren't the only thing to look out for. Soon after, my mom fell deep into depression. I didn't understand it then, but I now know that from that day forward, my mom was missing. Years went by, people came and left my life. But as I grew, I inherited the same numbness my mom had. My confidence, motivation, and happiness were no longer a part of me. There was definitely something wrong. This was my freshman year of high school, a time where most people changed, and I did too, but for the worst. I was missing so much school, I began cutting in order to feel better, and in reality, it just hurt more. I became antisocial, and my circle of friends got smaller and smaller as the years progressed. One day, I finally realized that I wasn't myself anymore. I had to put on a mask every day. I understood that the real me went missing long ago, but I became very determined to find her. I searched for help by means of doctors who specialize in mental health. I saw a therapist, and I began to take medicine to help me cope. Today, I still live with anxiety and depression, but I have learned to control it in a better way. I believe that I found a part of the girl that went missing when I was 14, and I'm okay with only finding part of her. However, the statistics still scare me. One in five children ages 13 to 18 have or will have a serious mental illness. And 43.8 million adults experiences mental illness in a given year. The statistics were alarming, so I asked the people around me about their opinions. Unfortunately, yeah. Yes, but there doesn't need to be. No matter what happens, just be okay with who you are, and there's always someone that cares. Um, there's always hope, and there's help. To those maintaining life in their unfortunate mental status, the world is craving your individuality. You are worth so much to your friends, family, and those who won't even tell you. Secluding yourself is doing no one any favors because we want your ideas, opinions, and thoughts. Don't let mental illness take you away from this planet, leaving the ones who love you confused and hurt. Stop the stigma before it becomes an epidemic. We love you and stay strong. Get up.